Hey guys, it's your Morgan coming back. I just want to do a shop with me. I normally don't do these, but I'm going to try it. So I am in Walmart. So the reason why I'm doing this, I had to do a voiceover because it was extremely loud in the store and it was jamming at like six o'clock in the morning. So I couldn't hear myself think. So I'm in Walmart looking for curtains. So I'm looking curtains for my living room and possibly my bedroom because the curtains I had from home goods I didn't particularly care for them so when I'm looking at these curtains I'm really loving this pattern here but it's only 84 inches and this is just like a sheer curtain it's four dollars and 87 cents so I was checking out some YouTube videos of this one on Vegas filter and he was doing a lot of home tours and I kept seeing the curtains that have like the two-tone like the top is one thing like a sheer the bottom is another color you know and besides I want my curtains to go from floor to ceiling so I'm looking at this wolf and jaguar panel I love this it's cream ivory it's not white but I don't care I think it's absolutely gorgeous and this is 63 inches I'm not quite sure why it's the same price so I'm looking at this one here thinking this is exactly what I want now coming over to the rods when i saw the home tours they had the, like the short rods where they had the curtains the rods don't go all the way across they had the, like the short ones so i'm thinking about instead of spending six dollars for a rod and they're still too long i was thinking about making some maybe some wood thick wood dials at home depot and maybe some finials not finials but actually like the doorknobs or the cabinet knobs it's the same thing so i figure i'll make it so coming along here, I, I'm in my smell goods section. I'm in a home goods section. To me, this is really nice home de decor section here at Walmart. And I'm looking at this lantern. This is only $10. You know, it's a lot of times that I know I don't see a lot of people really shopping at Walmart. They're normally at Home Goods Frost or another store, but they have some good prices. And I do like Walmart candles better than like the Dollar Tree. So this is where I get my smell goods and I use them for my diffuser, especially the lilac. It is amazing. And this big bottle is only $2. I had this bottle for like four months and they last a long time. You just put it in there for your essential oils. They are gorgeous. Now coming along to this bamboo fountain, LED fountain, I'm really thinking about getting this. But if it was a little larger, I would like this for my patio, guys. I think this is really, really cute. But, you know, well, 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 I'll think about it. If not, I'll come back. I know Michaels has some really large ones that I really like. And this one is cute, too. They're really nice. I really like that. All right. Now, I walked over to the mirror section. This huge mirror was only like 30 bucks. Now, you can really, like, DIY this thing. I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. If I had the room for it, I would get it. But... I do not have the room for this. I have no more space in my bedroom, but I thought this would make a nice mirror. So I wanted to show that to you. Really nice stuff here. And you know, some Walmarts are just better than the others. This was a really good one. This is a fairly new one. If you live in Las Vegas area, this is on the south end of the um, area near Mountain's Edge. If any Las Vegans are here. And this is the newest Walmart that we have. And they really have some nice decor. Um, a lot of selections in your candles, um, a lot of different scents, and especially I was looking for the candle for my DIY project. Remember that white and gray candlestick holder? I can't find the right candles for it. You guys kept telling me to get the round ones, but I can't find the round ones. So I wasn't sure which ones to get. So these are a little too sick for me. So I'll just keep, you know, checking out other stores. Also, you know, that was that's an idea but i thought that would be too short now look how they have for 2033 since their tea lights to me i would get this over the dollar tree the dollar trees i don't like the way they burn they burn too fast and i don't know it, it just cakes up so i do like the walmart you know tea lights these are really cute i thought this was adorable you know this um little home decor here for a candle holder and look when it comes out you can even paint that silver if that's not your color but i really like that it's like a nice little hurricane with a design in it you could bling that out too even put glitter on it the lanterns was really cute and they are nice and they're not that expensive this to me is a diy project you know you can go get this at the dollar tree and make this so i really wouldn't spend money on that so I'm coming down here over to the ribbon section. Now, 
when I do my curtains, I'm thinking if the seam didn't come out right, I was the other option is to get ribbon. Something that's like the gray and white, something that has a little shimmer to it. I was looking at different patterns, like this is a cute one, but I didn't want anything too ornate. That's a nice one too. You know, just in case it needs something, a little design in the middle of it. And you could just get one of those iron on bonds and just iron it on. You don't even have to sew this stuff. I don't need any wire. That wouldn't work for my project. Yeah, there has some cute ribbons. They had a nice selection too, nice and clean. And this is when I go to the stores, this is what I wanna see. I wanna see selections and I want options. Now I'm coming over to the kitchen section. So now my kitchen curtains are red. I have a couple little red parts, but I don't know what the color to do it because, because I do have the gray and white, but the blue, the green, I'm not a green person. I'm not a teal person. Um, so I'm thinking maybe frack down just probably pretty much stick to the red tiles, the red and white stripes. I think it sort of pops with that silver gray. And these tiles, not even $5. And yes, guys, these are Walmart. And look how thick they are. Now, when I went to Home Goods, number one, I didn't see. I mean, Home Goods is more decorative. I do have Home Goods kitchen tiles. They're not as thick as this, but you know, it's nice for decor. But I need something I can use coming over here to these little washcloths these bar mop dishcloths now this one was really nice i would like that even for cleaning you know they're really thick and i would just get a whole bunch of these just to use for cleaning supplies you know just to clean up the kitchen the bathroom areas and for dusting and this is not bad for only four dollars and 46 cents and look you get eight in the pack can't beat that guys you really can't all right guys now I am in Home Goods, and you know how your more girl feel about Home Goods, and this is why I feel about Home Goods. This is awesome. This interdesign kitchen bins is called. They have one, just one. I would love to put like the under the kitchen cabinet. I looked all over. This is what my Home Goods look like. No matter where I go, we have about six or seven of them, and I can never find anything. I can never find anything. And home goods is so irritating, you know, to want an item and they have one. So I know you guys love your home goods, but I'm sorry, guys. This is why I don't shop there that often. But I did get a couple things. So I'm going to show you what I got in my next, which is going to be a haul. All right, guys, stay tuned. All right, guys, so I went shopping. So you seen I went to a couple places and Walmart and checked out some cart curtains and stuff and their home decor. You know, I really like um, shopping there only because that when I see something I want, it's there. And they have multiple, multiple quantities of what you want. Now, I know I talk about home goods. They would never ever sponsor me in life. But the reason why, as I showed you, when I see an item, I don't want to see one of an item. I want to be able to get it you know multiple supplies of it and whenever i go there i know you guys always shop there at home goods and y'all be getting 10 items of one thing i never ever ever do and we have about six home goods here and i just don't have good luck with home goods so now i also last week i went to the goodwill and tomorrow again is the second saturday so that is half price goodwill day so that if i find something i will do um next week or when i come back i'm going to see my chica next week and i'll be in virginia so if anybody's in the virginia area you know just say hi to your more girl but i got this thing from i want to show you first from goodwill now my haul is only a few items and i have the reveal that i have to have to show you guys you're not going to believe it i'm not going to tell you where i got the stuff you kind of kind of hint where i got it but i want to show you this and i had to look it up to see what it was because i liked it it was pretty but i had no idea what this was look what i hauled this is a silver piece it's from silver plated it's actually silver and it is a three-tier candelabra plus the inside is called a frog so i didn't know what that was and here it is what you do is you put your stems for your flowers in this part of it i thought that was gorgeous so i guess you'll have your candles and then you'll have like a little flower arrangements and then you'll have your candlesticks up i thought this was absolutely beautiful and the shine up it wasn't even rustic i did clean it with my right silver cream but it wasn't rustic at all but you know 
it was really gorgeous. So let me show you the items I got from Home Goods. It's only two, but I thought it was pretty cool. Remember I hauled the curtains from Home Goods about a couple weeks ago? No matter of fact, it was last month. Well, I returned them. It was sort of like a blush and white and gray. I didn't like it. I hung it up and I'm, I just wasn't feeling it. So I returned them. So when I returned them back, this is why I'm not ready for the bedroom tour. Probably when I get back from Virginia, I will get busy on that. But um, I didn't like it. So I'm still looking for the right curtains to put up. But I did find my bedspread. So I did return it and I got one from Tahari. So this is just a basic like gray and white quilt. And this is what I was looking for. I didn't want a comforter because it's 106 degrees, guys. I don't need a comforter on my bed. This is probably heavy. So you probably just need a sheet at that. So I did get this and this is a gray and white quilt and it's a full queen size and it's really nice. It's something that I was looking for that was just basic gray and white. I do not want all white again because that is just hard to clean. But I did want some more gray because my room is gray, white, and black. So I'm going to go with this. If I do do a touch of the blush back here, it's going to be a touch. I didn't want my curtains blush. It just didn't. I just didn't like it. And I think it was just maybe because of the floral pattern. It took away the modern look bling to more of a floral, I don't know, country look. I just didn't particularly care for it. So if I don't find the right curtains, you know, I'm going to make them. All right. So this is what I found. Now, I'm surprised because, you know, I'm not a big home girl girl. But I know the guys, I know you guys are. Don't mean to talk about your store, but this I thought was awesome. So I needed a planner because I'm always forgetting something. So I got this, you munges. Look at this, week at a glance. So I thought this was awesome. It comes with a little marker here. And what you can do is just, it has all the days of the week and you just kind of mark off your schedule here. Doctor's appointments, whatever errands, children, whatever you have to run. I thought it was this big. I really, really like this. It's framed and it's really heavy. So I got this. I would love to put this on the back of my door. Where I will actually just put this where my makeup desk is. So it is kind of big there. I really, really want to put it behind the door, but those doors are not solid wood and this is mighty heavy and trust me command strips is not going to hold this so if i could find a way to hang this i really would like to see it like behind my door so i can check my schedules every day okay and so that is it for my haul so now what did i get from walmart guys i showed you different things from walmart i think i am going to go with the red um for the kitchen because now that it's sort of like a gray and white theme here um I think the kitchen always had the red curtains there. I think I'm gonna go with the other red decor there. Okay, I know the, um, even though I have the black and gold, which is in a corner, but you really don't see it as you come in because it's in a corner where my coffee bar is, but I'm gonna have the red and white theme go. And I think it really pops with that, just that basic gray. So, the curtains. All right, so I showed you the curtains from Walmart. And they were 84 inches. And I'm thinking, oh, can I piece them two together? Is it possible? Let me show you the reveal of these amazing curtains. They came out absolutely beautiful. And you will not believe, guys, yes, they were Walmart curtains. And I have them from, they were 84 inches. And I wanted to go from ceiling to floor. And I have nine foot ceilings. So pretty much measured out to 100 inches, a whopping 100 inches for my curtains. And um, that might be a, maybe an inch or two shorter, you know, because by the time you seam everything together, and I was shocked by the time I pieced it together, I, did, I didn't do a DIY on it. It was just tedious. I had stuff all over the place. I still have two curtains to do. I have to do the living room curtains, but the dining room came out awesome. So guys, I'm about to show you my curtains I did from Walmart Curtains. And I'm gonna tell you, they look like they from JCPenney's and they're custom. All right, guys, let me show you the dining room. Okay, guys, so this is the dining room. Look at these curtains. Let me go up. All the way up. Remember the white swag? They go almost to the ceilings. I think I took them three inches from the ceiling. And look at them. And it goes all the way down to the floor. All right, so let me bring you over here. I kept it very simple, very classic. I really like it. At first, originally, I had the white at the bottom and I had the gray up top. But then I figure, no, even though it was a different look, because it's behind the tables and the chair, and I'm like, you're not going to see the white, I switched it. So I swapped it and I put the white at the top and I kept the gray at the bottom. Now, I could switch it over because 
here, as you can see, it's touched the floor. So here is the basic top of the gray curtain. And originally this was at top. So I kept it just in case I want to switch it again if I want to change my decor. So I'm just going to leave it like that. And you can see it hits the floor. I got two curtains. I showed you the white and I showed you the gray. And the white I like because of the pattern right here, if you can see it. This pattern is actually vertical, but because the gray curtains here was 30 inches going across, this was 30. The top was only 27. When the design actually was a vertical design this way. So I took the curtains that were vertical. I cut it, I switched it this way and I cut it across. So now the pattern is horizontal instead of vertical because this way I can cut from end to end to 30 inches here in between from here to here I measured 26 I took an inch from here and plus I trimmed some here and I had to be careful because I wanted them to be even you see the top so you had to measure that correctly if not you're gonna have one curtain line up top and one below so that you had to measure exactly I had to measure several times remember measure twice cut once and I am not a seamstress so I did seam and the iron on on the side here these are regular sewn on the top here since I cut it I just used the seam tape that you iron on the bond but this is stitched and the top is stitched. And as you can see the pattern right there. Look at that. So now, I still have the fix here. I'm still trying to match it when I took the shelf out. Now, now that I have this space, I took down the art with, um, lamp. I'm gonna give it to my friend. And I am going to do either an art piece. I don't want mirror. I actually want an art piece up there. And I'll probably just do it myself. I do have a canvas. And I'll let you know what I do. So, guys, this is how I look. I'm going to the kitchen. So, I'm backing up. I'm backing up. So, now, this area looks like this cute little corner area and it gave us such height to this especially with the light now you can see once i took the art light and thank you my subscriber she told me to get rid of the art it was redundant yes it was so now you can see the lamp and the swag because i wanted to see the swag now the art like i saw i have here so i'm going to give it to my friend now either or looked nice but it looked a little crowded when i had it together okay so i didn't partner with it so I just want you guys to see this cute, just little corner. And it doesn't even look like Walmart curtains, but yes, they're from Walmart. All right, so I'm still coming around. And these are supposed to be room darkeners, but you know, they are room darkeners. You can see the light brought through it. Can nothing block us, Vegas sun. Are you kidding me? Look at that. And I can see my swag and it's all set. And then you can really see the swag. And again, I did do a quick video. I never posted it. Uh, when I get back, maybe I'll do it. And you can see here, it's just the wires coming out here. That's all it is. This was sort of, this light fixture here was this one here. So we just took the cover off, okay? I got one of these round domes from um, Michael's. A plaque, that's all it was, was a wood plaque and then put the silver dome on top of it to nail it in to secure it and wired it and just swapped it. It was that simple and I used the satin white so it could pop against the gray wall. Alright guys, if you have any questions, let me know. I try to explain to you as much as I do with this curtains. I didn't want to do a whole DIY. I had material everywhere, curtains everywhere, and it was just getting kind of messy. So if you have any questions, you want to know a little bit more detail how I did it, just give me a, you know, a message you know, in the comment section, guys. All right, guys, it's your more girl. I hope you like this video. I'm going back, guys. Look at this. So when I do the living room, because remember, the living room is still this one. So when I do the living room, I will do a reveal on all of the curtains. Hi right, guys, it's your more girl and I will see you at the next video. Talk to you later. Much love.
Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is your more girl. And next week, I will be in Virginia visiting my chica, so I will not be doing YouTube Tuesday. But we are going to be doing some videos in Virginia. Another get ready with me and who knows what else. All right, guys, see you next week. It's your more girl.